K-pop. All like cute. Us here. Mama Boo. And is she shooting pool? Nope, one. she's not shooting pool. <laughs> um, oh, uh, yeah. I think she is. Okay. What do you think she's doing there? That looks like a pool it's, cue to me. It's not a cue stick. Um, but Tan, is she about to beat up some... So she's in a maid's outfit. Neighborhood out ruffians? She's in a maid's outfit. Is it? That's Solo, by the way. She's in a maid's outfit. So it's probably like a duster. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I like it. Mama Moo is celebrating their 10th anniversary. It's our third video in a row covering them, but also we'd probably do it anyway because they are amazing. It's uh, been, it's nice to get, because usually we'll just do one song. It's true. This is way better to do a few of them. Yeah. You really bring in the noise, bring in the funk. We love it. What do we cover? We covered Piano Man and we covered uh, yeah. Uh, whoop. Oh. Uh, whoop. And Billy Joel's Piano Man. And now, um, oh, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Their titles <laughs> are great too. Like, let's just go with like the sounds we make when we're eating uh, pastry for dessert. <laughs> you don't need words. You don't need to get catchy with it. Uh, and really, that captures the mood. I'm expecting something delicious to come out of this video. Don't know what the French maid's about. Maybe she's about to cook an excellent pastry. I think you cook pastries, right? You bake. Yeah. Cupcakes, cakes. You bake cookies and you cook bacon. Okay, so you is that <laughs> so maybe she's that's kind of weird. Something nice. It is weird. You cook cookies and you bake bacon. Wait, but you don't necessarily. No, you, you fry you, bacon half you, the time. You bake cookies and you cook bacon. Oh, you bake cookies and you cook bacon. But. Anyways, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I guess I butchered that. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Anyway, loving Mama Moo. Uh, we're, congrats on their 10th anniversary. Very excited to check this out. And like he said, uh, very glad to have an excuse to do a full run on them and keep the music going. The last time we got this much Mama Moo action was when we covered that Mama Moo documentary. Which was also mm. great. If you haven't checked that out, check out the Why Mama Moo is the Most Underrated Band in K-Pop, which we thought made a lot of excellent points. And you get to see a crap load of their uh, bits of their music and stuff. So, very, thoroughly enjoyable. Check that out on the Mama Moo playlist. But let's get into... Um, oh, oh, yeah. I think it's going to be a winner. Mama Moo! <laughs> story one this is the dead body that you killed in the uh in the wow not quite okay. <laughs> okay i'm gonna like this cheers
He's try and drug the drink. What is going on? <laughs> so he Wasa? he what yeah uh, gets a little wild on the plane. Tries to uh, grab a, Sola. Grab so <laughs> and then she offers him a free beverage, but she drugs it. That's the solution. Let's just drug him so he's asleep <laughs> for the rest of the flight. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, he knows that. He's like, I think I don't know the smell of the <laughs> Oh, no. Bunch of comedians, huh? Let's freeze it out. So I noticed that um, little barbershop kind of scene that was in the song. Um, I don't know if it's connected in any way uh, to the music video Windflower, I think. Interesting. Wasa was in a, in a barbershop. It just, I don't know, it just kind of, reminded me of that. Maybe one of, maybe Wasa's parents were barbers. And she grew up hanging out in the corner of the barber shop, reading comic books. <laughs> reading comic books? Hair. Interesting. What you do when you're hanging out alone in a barber shop as a kid? Okay. Maybe they send you down, and you go like, you know, like, get, give us ten. Get, go down to the store, get yourself a Kit Kat bar. In a comic book, here's fifty cents. What do you think they uh, went through their head when when they found out like the the premise for this video? I assume they came like, up with the premise for this video. <laughs> yeah, probably because they are they're unique gals. Uh, I would say I'll say this isn't my favorite song of theirs. But I love the music video. Everything going on, I'm like, what the hell is happening right now? Yeah, it's wild. <laughs> they're, dr they're drugging someone, then the wrong person gets drugged, then they have to like restart her heart in the hospital. Then suddenly the other, then she like brought him home and she's carrying for him in her bed. Then the girlfriend walks in. Then it's like, there's a lot going on. <laughs> yeah. A lot to break down in this one. They're just <laughs> so. One of them mapped it out. Sola's like, so here's how it's going to go. It's a very simple story about a girl that falls in love with a guy on a play. Wasa, you're going to be super into me. Yeah. I'm going to dress you up as, as a guy a leather clad in a leather jacket. Biker guy. <laughs> we and you're going to 
You're going to eat some sandwich, yeah. a big hoagie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is fun. We got to check out some of their uh, behind the scenes stuff. Definitely. This because... would be a fun one to know, like, what's going I think I remember in that documentary them talking about. It might have been this one that was the controversial because they're like, oh, they're playing other sexes and doing. Oh, blah, yeah. Blah. Yeah, good point. Uh, that may have been this one, but possibly, yeah. I mean, who cares? They're still attractive as men, uh, but just um, the whole. Con- I have no idea. <laughs> like, I couldn't like pay attention to couldn't the song follow. words because I was watching yeah. everything going sure. on there. Sure, sure. So I don't even know how they match up, except for like the end, like. Who is this girl? Is that your girlfriend? <laughs> she's like to check. She thinks she's going to be the nurse, uh, like bring him back and have that classic paradigm of the caretaker falls in love and the patient falls in love with her, except that she's the one that drugged. Accidentally. It was an accident. Right. You write a movie. I think we could write a movie based off of this music video. But. Will it be better? I don't think so. But maybe if we do do it, they'll let us use their song for free. Does that sound like a deal, Hamamoo? We can make it happen? Yeah, they just... Everything they put out is definitely interesting, catchy. It was a catchy song. It's not my... Like, out of the three today, this is probably my least favorite of the three, personally. Okay, yeah. But still, I still liked it. Still a lot. liked it. It's like yeah. a bit it's more of a pop kind of sound, right? Yeah. Agree. It was definitely more like that. And it was just one of those ones where the pacing wasn't quite right for me with the the way it went. Where I kind of I want it to be slightly faster, slightly slower. I don't I don't know what I want. Uh but it was good. And the music video was thoroughly entertaining. Uh, please, those that know, all you... I'm, I'm looking at the Moo Moos, I think, for this one. That are really <laughs> yeah. In it. I'm sure there's a lot of info yeah. on this let, one. Let us know what you know about this video. What, like, what, what would you describe as the full storyline arc of what went on there? Because, like, who... What, what is with... But scientist, doctor, eating your hoagie, and trying to revive the moon moon star. Yeah, but they like introduce her as part of the story earlier on before that would ever come into effect. Yeah, I don't know if there's. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We don't know. That's the heart of the channel. <laughs> we don't know what the hell we're talking about. Just a couple. Couple middle-aged white guys from California, enjoying the hell out of Mama Moo and all these bands. You, um, it's a great time. Yeah, you did bring it up about the um, dressing up, uh, Wasa dressing up as a guy. Uh, how long ago was this? Nine, nine years probably, right? Uh, eight, eight years ago. Okay. So I wonder what the there must have been some some kind of backlash with that, right? It reminds me of a little bit of Queen when they did um, what's that song? I want to break free or something. They they dressed up as as women. Did they? I don't think I've seen that. Music and Freddie Mercury had like he has he was like cleaning the house with a vacuum cleaner. I, I'm not sure the name of the song, but I remember it being a big deal when I was younger, and they banned it from MTV. Really? Yeah, and I remember my my parents kind of talking about it. I was really young, because this was a long time That's ago. That's shocking. But yeah, Obviously. 80s is like, it was. I mean, it's way more, it's conservative, I guess, over in Korea, but it was way more conservative over here back then. But I... But I do remember it being a big deal, and my parents wouldn't let me watch the video. 
And now it's like today, it's like, oh, it's nothing. That's absolutely nothing. <laughs> the times do change. Yeah, well, yeah, you see so much great, like, he just raises the bar. That's pretty tame. And also, like, were they not going to let you watch Monty Python? Were they not going to let you... Well, I was, I mean, I was, God, it was, I forget what year that was. I was... So, I was so yeah, young. Confuse the lad. I was so young. Yo- yeah. I wholeheartedly agree. I was so young that but it... I don't. I don't want any kids put in. I. They don't need to deal with that. Just go play and have fun. Yeah. You don't need to deal with our twisted issues. I. I was so young though, but it did strike me. I remember my parents like talking about it with um, with other adults, even though I was probably like four or something. Somehow it's one of my earliest memories <laughs> is this Queen music video. It was during the AIDS scare. Uh, you know, it was a tumultuous time. But that's interesting. I had no idea about that. I haven't seen the video. The fact that they banned it is It surprising. was banned. Yeah, I believe MTV banned it for a while. Well, check out that video for sure. Because I love Queen, too. They're a great band. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was looking... My parents... I just remember... Pre-Wayne's World, my parents had a CD of Queen. I think it was like their greatest hits or something. That I... That there, there's just like a choice of CDs you could play at the house. I put that on one time. I was like, these guys... Like oh yeah like and crazy. ironically uh one of the first cds i got like the first cd i ever got was my from my parents they gave me queen's greatest hits even <laughs> I though think that's one that even they, though they they, they, they wouldn't let me watch can't watch the video but enjoy the band but the here's music. yeah so that's funny it's a, and i can get that i do because if i ever become a parent my goal will be to avoid awkward conversations as quickly, as often as I can. But it made It'll me, it's place. funny, it had the opposite effect, though, because they were... It made them exotic. I, I, I was I was them. interested all of a sudden now because you, you yeah. wouldn't tell me exactly. the deal, even though I was super young, you know. It's a, it's a classic reverse psychology. If you're denied something, then right. you want it more. Or right. you're, if someone says you can't look at this, you're like, why not? What's it What's it about? What am I missing? What's so crazy about this? Yeah, so it just made me think. I wonder if there was some kind of right. similar thing here with this music video. I did, believe it. Did it get banned or it could be. whatnot? Let us know. Those that were around, experienced that area, era, if this was it, because... I don't remember that this was the one, but I remember that the, I remember them saying something about like uh, controversial music videos they put out. Mm. Um, it didn't do any. I don't know. It's hard to know through like the modern day filter. Like what what would line up even eight years ago? What's controversial? But good song. Great music video. Great band. Epic. We love Mama Moo. We will definitely be back for more. Congrats on 10 amazing years. And on the next 90, let's hit that century mark. Let's see Robot Wasa racing the stage. <laughs> I don't want to see Robot Wasa. 90 years from now. We'll all be robot. We'll just be an entity online. And they'll upload. We already are. Money. Well, yeah, kind of. (laughs) Good point. Good point. All right. That was awesome, though. But we'll let you go for now. We will be back. Uh, Likes, comments, subscribes, all appreciated. Let us know what you know about the video. What your favorite thing out of the last 10 years of Mama Moo is. What brought you here? What was the first song you heard that got you into that? These are those kind of think-back momentous occasions. Oh, for me, it was... uh... Chico Malu. Chico Malu. The first one That's good. we covered. Yeah, it didn't take long. And we had to record it six times in a row because we were having tech 
tech issues. Right. But Oz said to me, he's like, he's like, cool. It's a good thing I like this band because <laughs> I would be pissed off right now exactly. at run number six. Exactly. But anyways, but it was more enjoyable every time. And sometimes when that happens, you're like, can I have my same uh, perkiness and have things said? Yeah, yeah. I almost wanted there to be tech issues for Piano Man because I wanted to hear it again. But <laughs> we got through it. So. Nice. We'll get back to it in our own time. But awesome. Thank you, Mama Moo. Thank you, Moo Moos. Thank you, Baby Radishes, for tuning in. And all people that are just coming in for the first time, we appreciate it. And we will be back for more. Cool ass K-pop. Oh, luck. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Um, oh, ah, uh, yeah. Um, oh, ah, uh, yeah.